Hey guys, welcome to Savory Saver, where I share gluten-free recipes, tips, tricks, and resources to make your gluten-free lifestyle easier. I've got a perfectly ripe avocado and was trying to think of something to do with it. And then I got to looking and I had everything to show you guys how to make table-side guacamole. This is a creamy, chunky guacamole made at home. It's creamy from the avocado. It's chunky from the ingredients we're gonna to add to it. It's perfect for Taco Tuesday, for Cinco de Mayo at home. Serve it with some salty chips and a margarita and you're good to go. Let's get started on this recipe. Okay guys, for our table side guacamole, of course we need avocados. And this is a pretty good size one. Typically I use about three medium avocados, but this is the only avocado I have, so I'm gonna scale down the recipe a little bit, but I'll tell you what goes into the full-size recipe, and I'll link to it down below so you can go get those measurement amounts. So we'll start with the avocado, and what I like to do with the avocado is I slice it all the way around using a knife. Keep your fingers out of the way. You should go all the way around, twist it to split it open. This side, we're good. We'll just pop that out of there. This side's got the pit. So what I want to do is get it out of there as safely as we can. I think we're going to scrape off some of that avocado that's stuck to it though. Let's see. You should really use a spoon for it. If you do this on a regular basis though, you can take the knife and stick it into the seed. Just be super careful. You don't want to catch your hand. Once it's in there, give it a twist, pops right out. So let's get rid of the seed. Now what I like to do is I like to take my avocado and I'm going to slice it. I'll just go one direction, go the other direction, usually table sod. The last time I got it, if I remember, they kind of just scoop them out, but I like to do this so it doesn't mash up quite as much because we are making a creamy, chunky guacamole, which you get your people that like the creamy, you get your people that like the chunky. This is kind of a hybrid of the two. So I'm gonna scoop it out. And then this is the point where you need to decide how creamy or chunky that you want this because once we add the other stuff, we don't want to mash it up anymore if we can help it. So I'm going to mash it a little bit. Not totally. There'll still be a little bit of avocados in here that you can actually make out, but I am going to mash most of it. Now we want to start adding our other items. So typically I would add one medium tomato, but this is a smaller amount. So let's see how much of this we actually want. This is one Roma and I may still use the whole thing once I get in there. And you can take out some of the seeds if you don't want it to water down your guac. I think I'm going to seed the rest of it. I 
but we will use the entire amount. Just do this, chop this up any size that you want. And then I usually will use about a quarter of a small red onion and I only have shallot today. So I'm gonna use a chunk of that, which is gonna be perfect. And guys, if you go to make this and the avocados look bad at the grocery store, buy one of those brands that's mostly avocado and take it home and add all this stuff to it. That'll save you picking ripe avocados because that packaged stuff is gonna be ripe but then you can still add all of that additional flavor. It'll still be creamy. It'll still be chunky. So that'll work just fine. Pop that onion in there, or shallot rather. Again, everything is to taste. Leave it out if you don't like it. I'm gonna add one clove of garlic that I'm gonna mince as finely as I can. If you don't like to use fresh garlic, you could use garlic powder in it. You could leave it out all together if you don't want the taste of garlic in it. garlic. I'm going to add some jalapenos. Normally I would add one fresh jalapeno to the mix, but I don't have any, so I'm going to use jarred jalapenos. These are jalapenos that I pickled myself out of my garden, so I always have these around. You could seed them or not, depending on how spicy you want it. Those are in there. I'm gonna add some cumin, about an eighth of a teaspoon. You don't want it to taste like cumin, you just want it in the background. Next, I'm gonna add some cilantro. This is fresh cilantro that I actually had in my freezer. You can leave that out if you want. If you don't like cilantro, or you could add parsley. I'm gonna add the juice of half of a lime. If it's not very juicy, we'll add the rest of it, but I usually add one juicy lime to the full recipe. And what this lime will do was add a little bit of acidity besides the tomatoes that are in there. And it will also, of course, help our avocado from turning brown. Next, I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to taste. You may wanna go light on the salt. If you know you're having really salty chips. Let's give this a mix. And if you think the spoon is going to mash it around too much, you can always use just the fork. Now, that's what our guacamole looks like. You can see the creamy avocado and the chunky tomatoes and jalapeno peppers and onion. If you're eating it at this point, you can transfer it to another bowl or have it right out of this bowl. If you are not going to have it, immediately and are gonna chill it. You wanna make sure you wrap it in plastic wrap. And by that, I mean, take the plastic wrap, put it over the guac and directly on top of the guacamole. That will keep more air from getting under there and browning up that avocado. So let's send you back out to the full view and we will give this a taste. 
Okay guys, here's our table side guacamole. It's creamy, it's chunky, it's got some acidity from that lime juice in there, which will help keep the avocado green for a little bit longer. Let's give it a try. You can see all those chunks in there, those tomatoes, those jalapenos, specks for the cilantro. Guys, it's really good, really fresh, just as fresh as you get in the Mexican restaurants, a lot cheaper than you get it at the Mexican restaurants. I pared this recipe down. It's not my full amount that I usually make. Guacamole is one of those things that doesn't last long. So if you're just making it for yourself, cut the recipe down like I did. If you're making it for a party, bump it up. You're not gonna screw this recipe up. It's all to what you like. Guys, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. Please give me a like if you enjoyed this video. Leave me your comments below on do you like chunky? Do you like creamy guacamole? What's your favorite? I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.